Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk a little bit about the art of fog busting. Uh, it's a term I came up with just in uh, the course of streaming on Twitch so often. Uh, every time I start the game, this is a technique that I use to figure out where the enemy is, where the AI is. This works in multiplayer, it works in single player. I don't know for sure. This is on the Xbox 360. I don't know for sure if it works on the PlayStation 4 or the, even the Xbox One. But there are, let me just go ahead and explain how this works. So the year is 4000 BC, and let's assume that we want to run around and plant somewhere else. Well, on turn one, you can fly around the map. Basically, step one is, basically the first thing you want to do is hit left trigger. So as you can see right now, I'm hitting left trigger, pulling back right now. And so that pulls the camera back. And then all you have to do is basically take your right stick and start zooming around the map. Uh, use both the left and the right stick. Actually, I think all you really got to do, you, all, all you really have to use is the left stick, I believe. Left stick and the right stick. And you'll see that the fog will start breaking up a little bit. And there's always a certain portion of the map that decides to break up as you can see just kind of zigzag back and forth with your left stick which let's see here wow yeah it's breaking up the fog quite a lot as you can see now I'm actually using this is actually making me wonder now because I'm using the great scientist but I also have a settler now I find that this only tends to work with settlers so I don't know why that is or maybe it's just any unit that can move two spaces now I mean that can't be it but there's definitely something about settlers that makes the camera bust up a heck of a lot more I don't know why that is as you can see I mean I can see almost everything and there's just a lot of kind of wiggling around with the right and the left stick a little bit but mainly the left stick and sometimes if you get it like that I mean you can see almost the whole thing now on turn zero, which is where we are, you don't see enemy capitals because they haven't planted yet because you actually get to go first. This is a turn-based game with the AI. So um, you don't actually see what they do until they all take their turn after you, which is kind of weird because when you play multiplayer, they actually take the turns at the same time as you. So you may actually be able to see enemy capitals on the first turn. Especially once you see that clock start ticking. You should be able to see their capitals. Even on the first turn in multiplayer. Uh, so, just for fun, let's run around a little bit. Let's just run this guy around just for the heck of it. So now... I'm using the scientist right now. I'm trying to figure out, as you see, I saw someone over there. Let's go to the other unit. Let's go to our settler. Now, as you can see, the Romans are up there to the top right. So you can see them. And then if we try to bust it up over here, sometimes just getting more speed actually helps it too. So if you kind of zip across like this, and sometimes going right may seem to, like one direction may work better than another. As you see, I saw a giant chunk of the land right there. Actually don't see a heck of a lot in this case. So actually, I can see another one right there. There's the Germans there on the right side of the screen. You can barely see the Germans usually because their color is so light. And there's not a lot of contrast in the gray. But there they are. They're right over there. All right, I fired up a game with the Aztecs here just to do one more example. Let's run around a little bit. Situated on top of these hills here. Actually, I noticed... Seems like mountains, if the map has a lot of mountains, I feel like fog busting seems to work even better. I'm not totally sure about that, but it sure seems that way. So it's 3900 BC, turn one, as I like to call it. And uh, 
let's see what we can see. We got London, the English over here to my... So they're about right there. Looks like they may even be on an island, perhaps. Just based on the way it looks. Is it? What's up here? Is that something? Lots of trees on this one. And let's see if we can figure out where everyone is. Uh, it looks like Mongols are right there to our west. And we can see the Egyptians are right there. Right there. Actually, it looks like they're quite a ways away from us. And the Aztecs, again, are right there, way down south, about right by this mountain. So this is a pretty good example. We saw quite a lot of different civilizations as a result. We have some map knowledge that we wouldn't have otherwise had. There we go. There's the Mongols. So let's see if we can take advantage of this. So it looks like they're scared. Nothing they can do in this circumstance. So there we have it, guys. Uh, just wanted to demonstrate how you could use fog busting. Oh, wow. Just even got a caravan and everything. Uh, in this case, we were able to use fog busting to see where the Mongols were positioned and... We planted and took their capital before they could even make their first warrior, even on deity difficulty. So uh, that's it, guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, you know, give it a like and uh, subscribe if you enjoy this kind of content. I do a lot of videos on Civ Rev and other gaming videos as well. So see you guys next time.